Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Little Tour, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another part in the Finding Dory playset for Disney Infinity 3.0. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome, welcome on back. We are starting things off in Morrow Bay, uh, just simply because I uh, thought that starting things up always on the level selection seemed a little bit boring on the last few episodes. So hopefully you guys enjoy Morrow Bay a little bit more. Plus, I wanted to upgrade a few of our characters or our one other character, which is Dory, before we actually move on and play as Nemo for today's episode. So, with that in mind, let's kick things off by entering our skill tree. Of course, guys, don't forget, if you enjoyed today's episode, drop a like. That would be very, very, very highly appreciated and super duper awesome. Let's aim for 1,000 likes, and hopefully over the next little while, we can hit that target. So, this sounds really useful, actually. The ability to use Swim Burst Boost... Which, try saying that quickly five times. Swim burst boost. Swim burst boost. I can't say that. <laughs> That's confusing. Let me know if you guys can do it. Let me know in the comment section below. All right. Increases the speed boost that results from wreath rhythmatically tapping Ooh, okay interesting uh we also are going to go ahead and grab the damage increase that we can one of them and then over here bubble barrage Ooh, that sounds really good can't afford that uh so we can either get this or this but i think that the bubble barrage sounds a lot more useful overall let's see how it works so if we charge it up it said hold r there we go. Whoa! Okay, that really is awesome. It's a triple shot. That is really handy. All right, so we will, though, switch out the wonderful Dory for the equally wonderful Nemo. All right, and before we actually get to our levels for today, or level, I don't even know how long the level will take for today, uh, we can grab some upgrades for him as well, possibly, such as a damage increase since we did level him up as well. And now, let's get a move on, shall we? All right, here we go. So we gotta go right through the pipe here, and then we can get to our mission selection screen once more. And by the way, let me know if you guys wanna see us uh, play through a few of the missions in Morro Bay as well. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. All right, so here we go. The next level is actually titled Quarantine Sneak, and the three challenges or objectives of this level for 100% completion are to reach the level's exit pipe, which is the easiest of the bunch. We need to rescue all of the fish in the level, and then of course collect all three sand dollars in the level. So kind of standard fare as far as objectives go. I doubt that we'll be able to collect everything, but who knows, because we did get a new friend added to the team, and that is uh, a good little buddy, uh, a little crab character, so I'm actually interested to see what abilities he has and what he can actually do in terms of helping us, so that will be interesting to find out, and we will certainly be doing so in today's episode. So here we go, into the new area we go, Quarantine Sneak. Yikes. This is a hey, so spectacularly right dark area. It turns out I was wrong. Aha! Uh -huh. Must be because of all the algae in here. Once you <laughs> okay. That, you should be able to find the fish. Sounds good. Okay. So what does our new friend do? This little guy. So you see we have like a bucket crab. I don't even know what we call this guy. So what does he do? Whoa. Oh. Okay. So we can grab on to him. Does he allow us to like walk on... The surface? I think that's exactly what he does. So that might be very handy, actually. That that could be a really cool ability, because so far we haven't been able to access the surface. So that'll be really cool. That's uh, that's pretty exciting. I I'm excited to find out what kind of a role he plays. So let's see. What do we have here? We have a whole bunch of algae. Just go ahead and take all that stuff up. Because it does also give us a bunch of shells. So in that regard, it's actually pretty nice. Let me head on through here. Grab all this. No point in really heading up there. However, there is very much a point in heading up here. Because there's a very, very good amount of... Come on! There we go. Collectible items there. So that's very nice. And now we move on You're to the next there. Whoa, what's up, Hank? How's it going, dude? Wait, dash attack? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to just jump? Wait. I think that that might be exactly what I'm supposed to do. Yep. Okay. There we go. Now, we need to do the same thing. Oh, man. Look at that. Our little shrimp friend is, like, doing this perfectly. Look at him. He's just, like, showing off. He's like, check this out. 
This is all you have to do. And we're having like a lot of difficulty with this. Alright, let's see. I feel like I'm jumping like way too close to the cylinder. So maybe I should just like jump. There we go. From a little bit further away. That seems to be the trick actually. Is don't just like jump right against the ledge. Because then you end up just losing all of your momentum. So in that regard. It's actually pretty simple once you get a bit of a flow. For how things go. Alright, I know that that fish is going to attack, so we want to be prepared for it. And get ready to take it down. Like so. Alright, let's go get that uh, sand dollar, since it's right there. There we go. Get rid of that fella. And get our first of three sand dollars. Cool, green and emerald scales. Very nice. So that's a new customization feature for some of the Where fish that, that we see. Go? You'll need him Ooh, to help you get through these curves. So now we know what he can help us with. He can get us through these crazy strong currents. Got it. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Remember how many times we've encountered currents that we couldn't deal with? This is fantastic. He really is very, 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 very awesome. Oh, the problem is he can't get us through there. Okay, got it. So that seems like something that we're going to have to actually resolve here. Yikes, why did I even go there? We don't need to go there yet. We need to first activate this. Grab that item. Rescue that fish. Then move on down and then... Uh-oh. Okay, I got it. Alright. Now let's... No! Still not matching. Okay, so I, I think I know what to do. Wait, do I know what to do? No, no, no. Never mind. I know what we need to do. Oh, man. All right. I think I got it now. There we go. So we just had to match the patterns of the two features there. Aha! Look at that! Almost got through. Oops. Can't go there yet. Because we don't have 15 fish, so we cannot do anything about that matter. Can we go in here? Aha! Yes, we can, and we can go ahead and push our way through it, actually. So that's pretty nice. Uh oh Get away from me. Alright, I have to be careful here. Because there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of really, really annoying fish. Robotic fish, that is. That do not seem to be particularly happy to see us, so... I don't think they're going to be asking for any autographs or anything like that anytime soon. Okay, we gotta watch out for that. Ooh, I forgot. I forgot that we have to be really careful about the flashlight. If the flashlight sees us, it is done. We are done for. We can't go there. So wait a minute. Where can we go? Ooh, there we go. Found a passageway. It took us a little while, but we got it figured out. Huh, interesting. There's something up above us. You see that? There we go. Okay. I am intrigued. Wait. So I know that that's where we're supposed to go, but what's down here then? Because I think if we use our new friend, the hermit crab, we can go down here, no? There we go. Aha! It's another fish rescued. All right, awesome. Now we head up here through the pipe system. And then we once again ask for assistance from our little friend. Man, the hermit crab is so awesome. It really does help out a ton. Just being able to get through all these little environments that we couldn't before. I mean, I overall really, really love games like this where like, or game mechanics like this, I should say, where essentially over time you get new things unlocked. It's kind of like, you know, Metroid, like that style of game where uh, then you can come back to a previous level or previous area that you couldn't get through because you didn't have a certain ability. Now we can go ahead and track back and get through a whole bunch of different situations that we couldn't do anything about before. So. It is pretty interesting, that's for sure. So what does this do? Okay, so that moves that pattern at the same time, which is pretty interesting. I am also intrigued to see what this does, though. Ew, I don't think I can go through there yet. At least not quite. Okay. So we'll go rescue this fish first. Just because we have this already all matched up. And it's all working out pretty well, I would say. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. And now, technically, what we need to do is 
Just time those well so we could rescue the uh, fish up top. I know the way. Just like so. Awesome. All right, so now we have nine of the fish already rescued. I'm actually really um, liking also the factor that in Morro Bay, when we went to Morro Bay, I should say, it was kind of cool to just see like how now Morro Bay has all these new fish there. So it looks a lot more populated and it just looks really, really, really like awesome and uh, healthy in terms of like just the environment that it is. So it's pretty fantastic. All right, let's see. I think there's anything we could do to just like jump across. Oh, whoops. Well, the answer is we certainly can. I just don't know that we gained anything except for just a few shells, which, I mean, is not a bad thing, but I don't know if that was really worth it, considering how much effort there was in making that jump happen, which really wasn't that much, but we'll pretend like it was tons and tons of effort. It was Olympic levels of effort. So, okay, careful. So, we got to get around this coral. And also, we want to not get caught in the light of the, uh, I'm guessing it's like a security guard, right? So, that's another thing that we have to keep in mind. And there we are. All right, awesome. Wow, we are, like, way out working the security guard. Like, we're all over the place so quick, we're able to just, like, get through whatever it is that he throws at us. We're able to just get right through it. Oh, no, Wait! There's a sand dollar there. Yikes. I'd really like to collect that. That'd be nice. All right. I know what we need to do next. And that is get rid of that fish. Whoops. Let me get that. And in order to make that happen... There we go. All we needed to do was time that very well. And luckily for us, we did exactly that. So now... We can push on through here. Slice and dice through that. Have to be careful about that orange algae pod. No! Ow! Uh oh. Uh oh. Get away. Get away from us. Okay. There we go. Ooh! That was a tough rescue for that uh, 12th fish. Because he was just surrounded by everything spiky. Or 13th fish, actually. We got really lucky there that we have the exact number of fish that we need. So that's pretty awesome. Very happy about that. There we go. And let's see what this does. Ooh, is that going to change? Did that, like, change the pattern, I think? Or did that just strengthen the signal? I think it just made the uh, signal of that water pulse stronger than before, correct? Yikes. Oh, yep. It certainly has. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh, now this is where we have to be very, 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 very cautious. Because we do not want to get caught. If you get caught in that light, you are done for. And that is not fun, especially once you've got a lot of progress done. It is not, not fun at all. Because, well, with a double knot, it's double negatives. But you know what I mean. It's not fun because all your progress goes to waste. Make yourself scared. Oh, that was so close. I was not, not happy about the way that that went. Moving, okay, kid. here we go. Get a move on, get a move on. I don't even know why I went for that. Heads up. Stay, stay. Okay, let's get out. Oh, my goodness. All right, we made it. We made it. Alive and well. Us and all of our friendly fish friends. Okay, let's get our shrimp friend out here. Where's our shrimp friend? Where's our shrimp friend? Why can't we call the shrimp friend in? We need him here! Shrimp friend! What's the ultimate attack that Nemo does, by the way? I forgot. Ooh, okay. That's pretty handy. I guess we could have cleared out, like, a, maybe a boss fight with that. Wait, I don't understand why I can't summon in... There we go. All right. That was really strange, because for some reason, for a while there, I couldn't actually summon in. Ow. Get away from me. There we go. Alright, let's slice and dice through all this algae. And hopefully, as we make our way... Uh-oh. Ow. Get away from here. Ooh, actually, 
I just now realized that there was something hidden. Wait, this is an area we've been to already. So we're circling back now? Oh, yeah, that's right, because there was that one door, remember, that we couldn't go through? Because we needed, like, 15, um... What are they called? We needed 15 fish to get through. Now, I guess we'll be able to do actually get through that. Oh, okay, so this just instantly pushes you back. Okay, got it. I just wasn't sure as to what those bubbles were and whether or not they were a bad thing or a good thing, per se. Uh, can you help us through this? Still can't get through this stuff, which is a little bit frustrating. I thought maybe by now we'd be able to get through some of that. But that does not seem to be the case. All right, let's see. What have we here? Maybe this is our destination. There we go. Whoa! Okay. Yep, that was pretty spectacular. We have to be really, really, really cautious about that. Get out of sight! In order to not get caught. Wait, what? But I was out of sight! How? We were down there! Wow, that was really unfair in my opinion. Because, well, I mean, I guess technically what they want you to do is just only use the algae and stuff. To get through. But, I don't know, I felt like we were out of sight for the most part, so... Not really sure as to why that did not work. And then... We go through here, push this thing open, and yay. Oh, whoops. Okay. Almost celebrated a bit too early there. And, whoops. I really want that experience orb because experience orbs are very, very useful and go a long way to helping you leveling up. Like, like right there. We almost leveled up from that. Oh, my goodness. How do I fight this thing? Okay, I mean, I guess I don't really have much. Here comes somebody. No. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You're clear. No. Uh oh. Okay, this might be really, really, really bad. I think we're supposed to hit like the Take tail that. end of that creature. I'm pretty sure of that. Oh man. Nope. There we go. Got him. Ooh. Okay. He's taking on quite a bit of damage. Okay, I have to be careful now. I have to be very, very, very careful and just patient. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Yes. Oh. Grab that. Get out of there. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to risk it. There we go. I think that was it, right? Ooh, okay. I think we can go through here now. Whoa! That was a lot of collectible items right there. Look at all these shells that we just got right there. All right, wait. We got to take, like, a nice boost from the swim. There we go. I just want to get, like, the multi charged ones because those are ones are worth quite a bit so we might as well get them right oh whoops okay did not realize that the challenge would be up here wow that was about as easy of a challenge as we've had so far with those shell things all right there we are oh my goodness what a level that was crazy we rescued 19 fish which is a little bit frustrating i think i know where the last fish was in that area that we couldn't get to it's possible but we were really close. We were missing one sand dollar and one fish. So that's pretty spectacular. We put together a really, really nice and solid performance there for sure. This level took way, way longer than I realized it would or even thought it would. And it seems like we're headed right back to Morro Bay. So let's travel on over to there, take a quick look as to what's next, and then we'll call it a day for today's episode. Now, of course, don't forget, guys, we'll continue the Finding Dory playset tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that for as long as we need to until we have the story complete. Now, not 100% completion, but just complete. So here we go. Let's see what we have around here. It seems like we are getting teleported right back in. Okay, sweet. Ooh, we leveled up. We're gonna need to use our points for that. And it seems like whatever our next mission is actually right up ahead over there. So that should be pretty fun and interesting. I wonder, what are these little missions? These are probably like kind of side quests, right? 
Uh, the poor seahorse, first day in the ocean, and he's already lost his kids. Oh, okay, that's pretty terrible. If you see them, help them find their dad. Me? Really? Okay, I guess we gotta help out here. Can't really leave them hanging, especially because we have a pretty good idea about this uh, area of the ocean, so we have a pretty good concept of hopefully where to find all of the kids. And then bring them, obviously. Ouch! Yikes. Okay, that was bad. Oh, whoops. I'm so bad at non-inverted controls. Like, seriously. I don't know why. I just find it so challenging to use non-inverted controls. Just find it very, very, very tough to use. Wait, did we rescue another one there or not? I can't quite tell. All right, let's just travel over to here. To wherever we're being sent to next. And hopefully we find the third and final of the uh, seahorses. Okay, yep, that was three of three. Sweet. All right, so now all we need to do is swim right back to the little mission area, and then uh, we can call it a day. So these are the kind of side quests that we can find, or one of the kinds, uh, in Morro Bay, which is pretty cool. So there we are. Hello. How's it going? Hey, you did it! Thank you on behalf of Lost Seahorses Everywhere. No problem. I don't know if you could say that much, but there you go. All right, I don't even know why he didn't speak to us simply. Maybe he doesn't speak fish, so that's why. All right, so with that in mind, ladies and gents, there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. That would be very, 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 very highly appreciated. I hope to see you guys here next time as we continue our very, very, very epic adventure through the wonderful playset of Finding Dory. Peace out, guys. I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.